How you do? And welcome to the Ginger Shed Man YouTube channel. In today's video, we're good. Oops. In today's video, we're going to be installing one of these. This is a five volt fan, meant for PCs and other things, really. Into an adaptable box housing a Shelly relay. So let's crack on. And remember, if you haven't already, if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, I'd be very, very grateful. Cheers. Yep, so. The five volt fan is only little, and we're going to be installing it in a an adaptable box that's in the loft that houses a Shelly one pm relay that has the bathroom lights attached to it, so you can control it. Uh, via the switch normally on the wall outside the bathroom and also via your phone, web browser, all things like that. We are in the loft now, trying to find the adaptable box that I'm going to fit the fan to. Um, I'll explain more later in the video of why I'm experimenting with the fan into the box. Um, but yeah, let's go and find it. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the lofticles and that is the baby where we're going to put the fan. This houses the relay, the Shelly relay for the bathroom lights in this box. Um, so I'm going to take off the lid, take it back to the ginger shed and see what we can do about installing the fan. I don't think I'm a bit, not concerned, but um, I think I might have miscalculated is the length of the cable that I got to fit uh, the fan. I don't think it's quite big enough, quite long enough to go into the socket, but we'll find out, won't we? Next step is I've got to take this lid off. Now, I've not isolated the um, power or anything. On apologies if you can hear the CCTV MVR going mental in the background with its fan, but it's roasting up in here. It's roasting. Right, so I've got to take this lid off, and in the lid, or should I say in the box, you will see the Shelly relay. So we've got all the different feeds coming in, the switch, permanent live, and then all run through the Shelly relay. So this just controls the one lighting circuit and that's our bathroom. Don't tend to use any of the smart stuff with the Shelly relay just yet, but it is um, there just in case that we do decide to use it um, like it should be really. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. Let's get this lid down to the shed and see what we can do about the putting the fan into it. Welcome back to the shed. We have the lid. We have the adaptable box lid. And just want to explain a little bit of why I'm going to attempt to put a fan in here. The Shelly 
relay has a inbuilt temperature gauge and it basically tells you the temperature of the actual relay of the board and everything in the relay and I've noticed from time to time because the loft is really really hot it gets really hot and it's inside the adaptable box as you've seen I see the temperature creep up now it doesn't creep up enough for it to uh, cut out because it does have an automatic cut out if it gets above a certain reckon the joint a certain temperature it's never done that but with the hot weather coming up um, I can't quite remember if I, if I can find it I'll put on what the actual cutout temperature is I think you can adjust it but I'll find out what the standard default is of the relay um, but with the hot weather coming up I just had an idea I mean it's not going to do any any harm I put in a little fan that blows into the adaptable box that hopefully might keep the airflow going through the box um, the other thing that you could do I suppose you could just drill some holes into the side of the box and take it from there but I thought I'd go a little bit different and try and install the fan see if it makes any difference to the temperature just an experiment really and if it does bonus if it doesn't there's nothing lost I suppose um, let's crack on first job is to determine where I want to fit the fan um, in fact, it'd be quite handy to figure out which way um, the fan goes. I think it's that way. But yeah, I'll find out which way the fan goes and then um, we'll crack on. Okay, the fan draws the air in from this side, pumps it out that side. So we want it facing down this way and if I remember rightly where the relay was situated in the box it was on this side of the adaptable box my idea is to put it about here and then we might get I mean you could even put it in the center and that'll give you plenty of airflow hopefully but I'm going to put it just at the base of the, uh, the bottom of the box here the lid um, and then hopefully we'll catch this side of where the relay is without the fan being directly on top of it just to one side I think will be cracking let's uh, mark that out level it up and we'll look at drilling a hole through the lid yep cool anybody use these tracer pencils and pens I'm no trader but I think they're pretty decent right Let's try and mark out roughly where we're going to put this. I'm not too fussed about it being completely level on the box, but as some people know, I suffer a little OCD. OCD. That's me. So, let's mark it. Also, I want to say thanks to anybody to watch my last video on installing that socket I had some nice comments so thank you very much approaching a hundred watches on that now hundred views that'd be pretty cool to get a hundred for the first video for an absolute nobody that I haven't a clue what I'm doing really so not too bad I keep saying so I do apologize for that so 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 all the time Let's find the centre of this and we can drill. In fact, I'm not really fussed about finding the absolute centre of it. Ruffity, ruffity. As Jimmy Dresta says, if it looks straight, it is straight. And I'll go with that. Shit. Shit my kex. Got to drill bump in the a 32 or a 35 mil hole let's get these out Erbauer's I've used Erbauer for hole saws before and that has been okay for me let's get a knife again I make a knife can't buy these anymore but I must admit 
this is the best knife that I've uh, I have used. What I did try to do is try to match the hole saw as much to the fan as possible. Then I'm getting as much airflow in there as I possibly can. I do tidy up after. That's the 35. I might go for the 35. It's more or less exactly the same size as the blade diameter. And it leaves me enough room to still screw the, the top down. Uh, sorry, screw the fan down onto the top. So yeah, let's get the uh, Arba etc. put in this drill bit, in this hole saw, and then we'll uh, crack on and give it a drilly drilly. Right, we're through. Luckily, I didn't, uh, I didn't break the box, but there's every chance yet that I still will. Oh, well, I'll tidy this hole up, and then we'll uh, look at fitting the fan somehow. Have a shuffed it. That looks like we're going to be spot on there, really. Question is now do I have any screws that I can fit this in with? I would preferably like to use a couple of bolts, but I know for a fact I haven't got any. So that's not going to uh, work very well, is it? Now there's that one. Ah, this might be a downfall of my plan. But I don't actually have any Tend to fit. You know what? I think they'll do. Let's try these. Let's mark it up. Try these, see what they're like. Might take the holes for the fixings, the fan, give those a little drill. Then I don't crack the plastic and we'll uh, crack on from there. Let's go!